Hi there, my name is Harriet Owen and I am a member of the Data Schools 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you four different calculations that will colour a bar chart based on whether the value is positive or negative. What this will allow you to do is add context to your charts. In the following example, this will help the user understand which subcategories make a profit or loss. So let's jump straight into Tableau and get started. We are first going to connect to Tableau's built-in data source, the Sample Superstore. We'll do this by connecting to data and heading to our Save Data Sources and selecting Sample Superstore. The chart we are going to make is the sum of profit by subcategory. And so we will drag subcategory to rows and profit to columns and just sort this descending. As I said before, there are four different calculations to create the following. But the idea is that we colour this chart by those the values that are above zero and those that are, b are below. And this can be considered subcategories that are profitable and those that are making a loss. The first calculation I will take you through is a Boolean field. So if we head here and select Create Calculated Field, we will name this Profitable. For a subcategory to be profitable, the profit value must be above zero. And so therefore, the calculation we want to write is the sum of profit is greater than zero. If it is, it will return true. If it isn't, it will return false. And this is known as a Boolean field. If we click OK and drag this new calculated field to colour on the marks card, we can see our chart update for its two new colours. And if we go to the colour legend, we can get some more detail. So in this case, true has now been outputted as orange and false has been outputted as blue. And this is our first chart coloured by profit or loss, but outputted as a true or false field. We will rename this sheet Boolean. I'll then duplicate this sheet because we'll be using the same chart. And we'll create another calculated field. I will name this one profit or loss, brackets if, because this time we'll be using an if statement to specify whether it's a profit or loss subcategory. To write an if statement, we first write if, and we say if the sum of profit is greater than zero, then tell me what you'd like me to write. And in this case, we want to say profit. And then we can say else, which means anything other than those that are greater than zero. So in this case, those that are less than zero, write loss. And we have to finish this and wrap it all up with an end. Hit OK. And if we drag this latest calculation and replace it on top of the one, uh, the previous calculation on the colour card, we don't see uh, the colouring change on our chart type, but we have seen that our colour legend has updated. And this time, instead of saying true or false, it's writing profit or loss. So therefore, the chart type will look similar, but your colour legend will either write true or false or profit or loss. And this will be dependent on the user and what they would like to see in their colour legend. We'll rename this sheet if. And again, duplicate the sheet. The next calculation is very similar to the previous, um, but it can be considered a faster way of writing it. We write another calculated field, and again, we'll call this profit or loss. And this time we're using a function called IIF. This essentially stops how much writing you need to do. So we write out our function IIF. It starts to tell us what it needs within the function. It first specifies test. In this case, our test is, is the sum of profit greater than zero? Then we can see, tell me what it is if it is true. So our then field, where we'll write profit, and then specify your else, else loss. 
The difference between this one is we don't have to write end. And if we click OK, and again, replace this latest calculation on top of the old one, we see our view doesn't update at all. So it's the same outcome completely as the previous. We'll rename this sheet IIF. Finally, we'll duplicate this one more time and create one more calculation where we'll write profit or loss, but this time we're using a function called sign. So if I start to write sign, we can see the conditions of what is required within this function. We need to specify a number. Now the output of a sign function is either one, zero or minus one whereby it is literally returning the sign of the number. So one for if it's positive, zero if it's zero, and minus one if it's a negative value. The number we're interested in in this example is the sum of profit. If we hit OK, and finally one more time, drag this field on top of our old calculation in color, we see our view looks slightly different to previous examples. And this is because the sign function outputs your result field as a continuous measure. And we can see this over here in the color legend, whereby it's returning either a minus one or a one. But the same theme is followed within the chart, whereby there is one color for the negative values and another for the positive values. So finally, we'll just rename this sign. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in how to colour a chart by positive or negative values with several different calculations. If you enjoyed this, please do check out our other video on the right, left and mid functions within Tableau. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.